Hey all, this is Isaiah Stanback. Big Nate Newton and I are excited to announce a brand new partner for our Let Me Tell You Something podcast, the Niagara Corporation. There's a very good chance you've heard of Niagara before, but just in case you haven't, Niagara is the country's leading manufacturer of water-conserving plumbing products. We're talking about saving real money with products like Niagara's Stealth Technology water-conserving toilets that reduce water usage up to 60%. We love that Niagara also works with affordable housing projects and commercial multi-unit properties to save water usage in dollars where it's needed the most. So if you want to conserve water and save money on your own projects, check out NiagaraCorp.com. Okay, here we go. Three, Let me tell you two, something. One. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Isaiah back in the building for another episode of Let Me Tell You Something with none other than the one and only Big Nate Dog. What's up, JP Dog? I'm feeling good, man. You're feeling good. I see you, you, know, got your, you got your Pro Football Hall of Fame shirt on. Oh, yeah, bro. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm trying to get Darren Woodson in there. I'm trying to let y'all know. Woody. Start with that old conspiracy thing, man, and get put my boy Woody in there. You got a couple cats that need to go up in there. Oh, definitely, bro. Yeah. Let me tell you something, man. You thought you were going to take this show. He going he gonna to try to take this show down the tubes, y'all. I ain't going to let him do that. I'm, a, I'm not going to let this Seattle Seahawks fan oh, do this to me. Let me say this here. Let me, let me tell y'all something. Go ahead, Tom. The Cowboys, who are they? Mm. Are they the Green Bay Cowboys that went up there the frozen tundra and got mm. slaughtered. Oh. Are they the Minnesota Vikings Cowboys? 40 to 3. Mm. Can't be stopped. Almost a perfect game. Mm. Isaiah, I ask you. Are oh, you asking me? Yes, sir. And I, I want you to go through. We did a segment on our show. Uh, I can't think of the name, it was our post game, our pregame show. Yeah. Of what happened. <laughs> against Green Bay yeah. and what should happen, which they did against Minnesota. Correct, Mundo. What happened, man, against they, Green Bay? Green Bay, they went against a team that can run the ball effectively with a two-headed monster. Okay. Aaron Jones and and and, and the big man. A.J. Dillon. A.J. Dillon, yeah. The, that two-headed monster was a problem. And, yeah, I mean, they obviously Dallas had to lead in that game, and they – Green Bay was just like, all right, we can't throw our way back into it, so we're going to run our way back into it, and as soon as you start trying to play the run, we'll go over the top. And, you know, Watson had a heck of a day, had his coming out party. And then last week against the Vikings, I think that was just personal. I think that was personal. I think those guys just took it upon themselves to ensure that what happened previously didn't happen again. They didn't give up hardly anything on the ground to Dalvin Cook. They didn't give up anything to to Justin Jefferson or Adam Thielen or Hawkinson. They pretty much locked everything down. And then, obviously, as soon as a team gets behind, I don't care. There's only one team in this entire league that I believe wholeheartedly with my my heart can get behind and throw themselves back in the game. That's KC. Kansas City. Only team I believe can do that. So any team that faces Dallas and gets behind early, Dallas has an upper hand. I believe in maturity. Okay. I believe that once you feel something, experience something, and it's so devastating. Yeah. And 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 and, and we ain't talking about out there in life. I'm mm-hmm. just talking about football world. Mm-hmm. That, but even in life, you should learn. Yep. And it should never be that way again. Yep. Don't repeat history. But the Cowboys over the last three years mm. have played this game okay. like this, where one week we like, wow, what happened? Then the next week, whoa, okay. That inconsistency, man, does yeah. not set you up for the playoffs very well. Very true. I, I, I've been there, and, and I, I'm looking at them. Does from talking about from the head coach Mike McCarthy? To Kellen Moore, and I'm talking about, this is all, for me, this is only about the offense. Yeah. The Cowboys lost that Green Bay game because of the offense. Okay. People say, well, Nate, they rushed for 200 yards. No, we came out in the second half and opened up with a wide open, uh, uh, speeded up offense. Yeah. 
Why did we do that? Trying to get some juice. Nah. <laughs> nah. I think that if Coach Kellen Moore and Coach McCarthy wants to be successful, you have to grasp your past experiences. Okay. Cooper Rush is an average quarterback. Okay. Dak is above average. D- Dak is what I-, I would say a good quarterback. Okay. A solid quarterback. So you're saying not borderline great. Borderline great, but not elite. Not elite. So you're saying he's like a C plus. Yeah, I'm saying Dak is a B minus. B minus. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I respect that. Now you have a guy that can do that, and you got pieces around him mm-hmm. that are that are all B's are better. Okay. And 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 I'm talking about even C D Lamb. He's a B or better to yeah. me. Okay. You got Zeke, along with the explosive Tony Pollard. Tony P, number 20. You got an offensive line yeah. that is showing you that they can, if, if given an opportunity, they can block with the best of them. I got a question for you on that one. And so, when you go back and look at the stats, when you go back and look at the stats, and you say in your mind, whenever the Cowboys, number one, mm-hmm. throws for less than 30 times, the record is 24 and 5. Okay, when you tell me that the Cowboys of around 45% are better on third downs, that this record is the same. When you tell me that when you control the clock 32 minutes or more, mm-hmm. that this record is the same. See, there's not chance. The rest now, I remember Coach McCarthy saying, yeah, I learned from analytics. Okay, analyze that. <laughs> I, I, I love Coach McCarthy. I, I'm serious. Yeah. Because of his consistency over all of this, over not this year, the last year, and the year before, he's never changed. He's always been, I think, truthful with his players. And then for Coach Quinn to come in and have the fat, the, the, the alpha male deal with his offense, that would shake a lot of coaches. Mm-hmm. It hasn't shook, shook Coach McCarthy. So you're saying he needs more credit? Yes. Okay. And for him to step in and actually help uh, yeah, Kellen yeah. Moore. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To say, hey, man, let me show you how to. Rent his rock. Yeah. And how to yeah. implement different things into the game. That, that wheel route, have we seen it? Mm. Uh, mm. Have we, you know, just little things. Okay. So, but now I still ask the question, Isaiah, to you. Mm. Who are they? Who are they, man? I don't know. Are they? They're a week-to-week team right now. Yeah. But I I do believe that the previous two weeks has taught them more about themselves than the the entirety of the season. And I say that because Kellen Moore's maturity. Mm. I say that because of this defense and how they have learned to trust each other and how they the lessons they've learned in terms of their run defense – I say that because of the 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 upcoming not the upcoming I guess the 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 resurgence of the depth of this defensive line. Yeah, everybody's a weapon, right? Right. Um, and the competitiveness there. So I think that in all aspects of the game, they didn't go to special teams. What was our biggest question mark coming into the season? Yeah, Brad Maher, right? And, right. And the rest of the kicking team. Everybody's matured. Everybody has been tested. Everybody has failed a test. Everybody's passed the test. And I think that the, from those failures, they learn and they hurt enough, right? They cut deep enough to the point where they don't want to feel that anymore. And everybody's asking the question, was that the, was the Green Bay game the turning point? Was that was that the pinnacle game that they needed to really, you know, you know, push them forward the rest of the season? I'm like, I don't know. I hope so. That's my hope. My hope is that they don't have to get another whooping like that, another hard lesson. You know, usually when your mama whoop your butt the first time, you're hoping well, at least when our moms it would our moms with our butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah. there's timeouts and spade yeah. games and take yeah. your tablets away. But we got our butt what? A lot of times to this day, I know there's certain things we won't do because we think about that dog on whooping we got at one point in time. Now I'm hoping that, that the Green Bay whooping was that for the Dallas Cowboys. So this 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 moves me ahead to now we have this is our third game with the Giants in 12 days. Uh, when 
when I look at this game, I said, I'm just giving you my, you know, I'm just giving you my. Yeah. Win, win, go out and win the game. Yep. If it's by one, if it's by 25, just win this game. Yep. Because if you don't win this game, what 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 do you lay your hat on? If, oh, you got to win this game. Yeah. It's not even an option. And if you don't win this game, then you have even greater question marks than the Green Bay game. Because I believe that this Giants team, the way they stand right now – is less capable than that Green Bay team that we face, right? Because right. their their whole offensive line is beat down. Uh, they don't they they're down two receivers, um, you down know, a cornerback, down a cornerback. Secondary is beat up. So I mean, this team is not very capable right now. And you showed to them last time what you're capable of for a short period of time, but they also showed you that they can get up on you. So it's gonna you know I, it's gonna come down to what I always believe, and that's gonna be can Dallas get up early. And because I believe that Dayball and what he's capable of doing offensively, I just think that he's Mink just Martindale, what he can do. Yeah, I just think that defensively, those so, guys, yeah. So, what are you saying is you believe more in the coaching staff mm. and what they can scheme up, correct, than what the individual players can do? Yeah. As, as I'm not players. threatened by the Giants' talent, right? Per se. Yeah, you got that dude in the backfield who's a right. beast, but I mean, you can bottle that up for the most part, right? Um, you know, even as, as many similarities as he poses in regards to Barry Sanders, Barry Sanders still wasn't as great as he could have been because of his right. offensive line situation. Right. So right. Um, you can you can bottle all that up, but I think Dallas is. I'm hoping that they turn this corner. I'm hoping they turn this corner. I, I, I know they haven't won a Thanksgiving game in like four four years, something like that. Wow, for real? Your buddy. Yep, they haven't won. Um, it's been a minute, and they. Um, I think this is personal. But Dallas has their struggles too. They got a lot of dudes that are sick this week, and you know it's it's a lot. And, and Thanksgiving, we we know a little bit about Thanksgiving games, so it's a little bit more at stake. Than just you know, I shouldn't say that at, at Turkey, but it was a, a little bit more at stake than than just a game because you're playing for the division up against the division of woe. You're you're everybody and their mama's watching this game. Everybody is watching this game. So let, 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 let me. You have what's our record? Seven and three. Both teams. Seven and three. So that's ten games that have been played. You have seven more. Mm-hmm. And normally. This is this is the week where everybody starts saying, whoa. Yep. But now, by it being a 17-game season, everybody started last week saying, it's time to, it's time to start yeah, making it up. Yeah, but both teams have the same record. Yeah, but the thing is, one team is solely in second place. That's the Cowboys by virtue of that beating. The tiebreaker, yeah. Yeah. But you don't want this thing to come back into a tiebreaker situation. You know who else is creeping? Who is that? Them commanders. Yeah, but you know what? They 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 creeping they don't, dog. Don't put your blinders on. <laughs> you a thoroughbred. You you know about put, you a thoroughbred. I know. I, I'm, I know. I, I'm a big donkey. I'm a big Morgan. <laughs> you know I can I can look around while I pull that plow. You a thoroughbred. You got to get down there. You a quarter horse. Yeah. I can look around while I'm chewing it, eating yeah. it, plowed up the field. You know what I'm saying? So I feel you. You got to put them blinders on. I feel you. I, I, I say I just I bring that up because the division is very competitive. This is the most competitive division in the league. A joke. If I'd have told you 11 weeks ago. Never. That the East. Never. The NFC East. You would have had all my money. A joke. You would have had all my money. Now, now, now you're the beast of the East again. That's it. And, and that's why I like, you know, I ain't finna let you get away with that, man. I ain't finna let you just ride out, man. And, and normally we don't try to discuss Cowboys because you get so much yeah. Cowboys. But I'm saying to myself. It is the, before Green Bay, I thought the Cowboys were full of themselves. They okay. a couple of weeks before Thanksgiving, they they full of themselves. All right, they got relieved of themselves against Green <laughs> Bay. Yeah, but but then they but then I, I guess my question is, when will you be mature enough as a team to to handle prosperity? Yeah. Did that Green Bay thing allow them to understand? How big these the Minnesota and this Giants game is? Two back to back big games. Two back to back big games against winning opponents. Yeah. Now I'm not saying the saving grace, and uh, I didn't say this last week, but 
because I didn't think he would turn back into himself, and that was Kirk Cousins. I didn't think that he would turn into like to pump let him. me, yeah, let me, you know. <laughs> well, he didn't have a choice, yeah. Nate. Yeah, he did. He didn't have a choice. And, Can't get behind these boys. And Daniel Jones has been nice, but he hasn't been great. Nope. Barkley's been his saving grace. Defense been bad. Wink Martindale. But, been, but it's been the dialed. running game hurt you last time you played the Giants. Huh? The running game hurt you last time you played the Giants. Yes. Right? I think, if I remember correctly, I think Saquon Barkley had 15 for 81. Mm-hmm. And Danny Dimes had 9 for 79. Right. So what's your game plan now to stop that running attack? You shut down Dalvin Cook. You said it before, get a, get ahead. Yep. Get ahead. But I'm saying, even if it's an even game, can you stop the run, the running force of the Giants? And that's the big question. We, we've seen where well, we've not played good quarterbacks mm-hmm. with decent running games. Yeah. But it seems like whenever we play a good quarterback, a la Brady, a la yeah. uh, Rodgers. Mm-hmm. I hear you. you. You see what I'm saying? I hear you. And – uh. But I just want I just want to see what you was thinking, nah, I mean, man. That, you, know, you thought right you was going to ease nah, in here today I mean, and, listen you know, up, go man. on this Thanksgiving. Let's get Nate on the fat Thanksgiving, listen up. I too. am ready for the Beckham Bowl. The what bowl? The Beckham Bowl. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. I, I am I am, I am am not ready for that conversation. Oh, I wish Nate, it would never Nate, come Nate, up. It's the Beckham Bowl, Nate. That's what it's called. The Odell Beckham sweepstakes. As much as I love this kid, he might be. LSU, he might be on your team next week. LSU, the Giants, the catch, the, the Super Bowl, an injury away from MVP of the Super Bowl. Because you know and I know, if he to stay healthy, that coach is finna feature him. And, but he's thirty. Am I correct? 30, Nate. Surgery on the same knee. Second one. I ain't going for it. They are. Why? They are. Tell, I'm going to let you tell me something. Mike, Why? Is Michael Gallup himself? He's coming back. He had a nice game. A decent, a decent game. Is he himself? He's not yet. Okay. How many ACLs? Huh? How many ACL surgeries? I don't know. I don't know about him. Michael Gallup had one. That's right. I, 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 so he's Mike, young. Odell. He's young. Odell's on the second. That's what I'm saying. So but he came well, back from the first one. They didn't want a Super Bowl. So <laughs> are you saying, are you saying, I mean, look at the folks. I'm going to look and at tell him that if we get Odell, we're going to the Super Bowl. I can't say that, Nate. I can't say that. You can't say that with your chest? I can't say that with my chest, Nate. I can't say that the Cowboys go to the Super Bowl with my chest, period. That, that's what I'm trying to yes. tell you. I can't say that, period. So However, he, I can that- say, what I can say with my chest is whichever team Odell Beckham goes to, if he's Odell that we've seen, he makes them better on the field. I can't speak to the other aspects. Talent-wise, he helps out any offense he goes to. That I can say. I have full confidence that if he's healthy, if he is healthy, he will add to that to that receiver room to any team so he word, goes to. The word is that this is the Beckham Bowl. Yep. The Giants and the Cowboys. Yep. And and the and the price just went up for the Giants. Yeah. The Giants are now more willing to spend money than they ever have been because they just lost one of their receivers. That's right. Now Where does – you know what? I'm not ready for it. I'm, not, ready? I'm not ready Nate, all you got to do is take Tolbert off the field. You take Tolbert off the field, and you insert Beckham. That's all you got to do. It's that simple. It's that simple. I, I, C.D. Lamb, Michael Gallup, Noah Brown. Beckham. Beckham. And then Washington down the road. Hopefully. I'm not ready for this conversation. Okay, we can we can, we can blow our passes. We can move on past. I mean, I I, I just <sighs> I, I hear you, Nate. I'm not a I'm not the biggest fan of this potential move. Right. But if they do make the move, he does make this team better. And now let on me, the field, let me say this: if they make this move, which I'm not with, 
and we flourish, you know I ain't going to be no bigger fan than his, right? You know, I'm going to be the biggest fan. <laughs> He's so stupid. All right. I, listen up, man. It's Thanksgiving. I know people got to get out of here. But listen, I want I want to tell tell you, uh, tell you, the people, Nate, dog, what are some of your big, your greatest memories from Thanksgiving games? We both played for the Cowboys. We both played you know, our share of games uh, on Thanksgiving. What's your, what's your greatest memory? From that day, because you you had you was partners man, with, with my, Mr. Madden himself yeah, and all that. But my family, okay, coming in town, you know, sharing these Thanksgivings with me and my wife. Then you know her family was around, so uh, just just a family, man. Yeah, just a family. Then you know, always having my chest kind of stuck out, you know, because I was going to be giving away some turkeys, whether yeah. I won that turkey leg or whether. You know, somebody else, I knew I could be that guy with the yeah. mic in my hand talking to John I, I, Madden. I, I got a question for you, Nate. Was, yeah. was the turkey good? If some of them was. So- some of them wasn't. You know, because it'd be cold. It'd be cold. And sometimes we get them turkey, they'd be cold. You'd be getting it out. <laughs> oh, yeah, but then some of them, boy, some of them was tasty. Some of them was tasty. So yeah. you, weren't, you weren't just doing it for the for the gram. There was no gram at that time. Yeah. So you was doing it for real, for real. Yeah, for you real, was, real. You was eating that thing yeah, for real, for real. Yes, sir. You wasn't doing it for the cameras. Nah. Nah, nah. Sometimes if it tastes good, I'm gonna take that back. Gonna take, <laughs> I'm gonna take that inside and go on it. What do they call that turkey? Turducky. Turducky. Yeah, turducky. Yeah. And that was a turkey and a stuff with, with, a, with a duck? A turkey. No, it was turkey and then with like five or six different legs on it. How'd you know, they do that? They just, I don't know how they, you know, they got found some guy that could put two or three legs on it. <laughs> turkey rider. Yeah. Is there, is there, it up. Is there one game that sticks out more than another? Nah, man. Because how many how many turkey bowls you playing? Ooh, I played with the cow up for thirteen years, eleven years. So, you know, them first few we were sorry. Yeah, we were getting drugs. So yeah, you didn't. But get it's no like turkey. when Jimmy came, we changed that thing around, and we that's when it started happening, man. I just it, it, it was always great, man. Uh, especially when you win in them Super Bowls and and you go into the playoffs, and that was that was just a break. Mm-hmm. See. That was a break for us because we, if we won that game, we were assured of two and a half days off. Okay. If we didn't win that game, we was assured of one and a half days off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we got a whole extra day. Yeah, get that dub. <laughs> yeah, because back then, coaches control how you practice and yeah. when you got off. Nowadays, you, rules. You, the, the, yeah, the rules got to where, you know, sorry as well as good, get the same yeah, amount of days off. Ridiculous. All right. What's your favorite dish, Nate Dog? As 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 everybody tunes us out and goes to their plates. My favorite dish was uh my mom's collard greens. Okay. And uh, okay. did you have to pick them? No, no, no. She found she a way didn't to make get you them. pick them? No, she we, she found a way to got get them, man. My we mom made me pick called mine. Red Markets. Okay. People go to Red But then uh my mom potato salads was good. Really? See, I can't ice potato salads, you used to call it back in the day. Okay. Uh I, lo- I love that, man. That, that was consistent with me. All right. You know, and back then I would kind of divulge into chillings and rice and uh, collards. Yeah, we and talked me. about that last But then, week. you know, yeah. the chillings, I got away from them, dog. Yeah, we talked about that last week. But, uh, okay, no dressing? No, nah, I didn't care about all the other stuff, yeah. man. I just had certain things I would eat like that. Like now, you know, if, if my wife, you know, I don't let my wife cook because she ain't going to have to go to the game. We go to the game, yeah. we move around. So, but now, you know, if my wife do cook, it'd be Cornish hens. Okay. Stuff like that. I ain't let no chitlins get cooked in my house. <laughs> you know, I ain't let no That's sir. back to back weeks of chitlins. be messing me up, blowing up my house. Like 800 <laughs> folks that use the restroom. Oh, man. Uh, What's your favorite, man? Well, I know what he's bringing me, and I'm saying this with my chest. <laughs> Y'all will be, this will be released on the day I'll be eating his <laughs> Uh, mac and mac, cheese, mac and cheese, baked mac and cheese, mm. and his uh, fried turkey. Mm. So I, I, John Madden, you still with me, baby? I'm still riding. I got, <laughs> I got Zell over here. Zeus, <laughs> we gonna make it happen, man. Yeah. Well, hey, with that, man, we we appreciate y'all tuning in. We appreciate y'all support. Y'all have a amazing Thanksgiving. Enjoy the fam. And uh, until next time, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell you some. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom didn't make you pick the grill.